When you're packing for a trip, do you find yourself struggling to pack the right things or pack efficiently so that you can have what you need to succeed? Many people fall under that circumstance, myself being one of them. Today, I'm going to teach you how to pack effectively so that your trip can go well and you can have the things so that your trip can be successful and you don't incur extra costs like having to buy clothes, having to buy your medications or incurring airline charges. So today I'm gonna to talk about how to begin your packing. First, you wanna to put together a list of what you're gonna pack, like your clothes, your toiletries, your chargers, and any other uncommon things you may not think about needing for the trip. According to my mother, Sharon Anderson, when you're folding your clothes, rolling them is best. It takes up the least room. So I'm gonna show you how to roll this pair of jeans. So you wanna start by taking them folding them in half, and then rolling from the waist down. When you're gonna roll a shirt, you want, it's almost the same concept. You start with it out, you fold it in, you fold the sleeves in, and then you roll it from the collar down. When you're rolling socks, you wanna make sure your socks are out flat put them together, and then fold this down. Now that you know how to prepare your clothes, you can now start packing. So when you start packing, you wanna take your box with your chargers that you have prepared, put that in the bottom of your suitcase. Then you wanna take your bigger items like your jeans and your shorts and put those in next. Once you have those things in, you want to start putting your lighter items, like your t-shirts, in. Now that you know how to effectively get a start on your packing, you can begin to pack the smaller stuff. When you're putting together your toiletry bag, according to smartertravel.com, you want to include items that are irreplaceable, such as medications. Your toiletry bag is one of your things you want to put in last. You also want to put in your socks. And any shoes you may bring. One last thing that I have learned to put in when I'm ending my packing is a trash bag. A trash bag can be very helpful to you when you're on a trip because if you, if you start getting any dirty clothes, you don't want to put those back in the suitcase with your clean clothes. You'll start to smell nasty and your, your clothes won't be good to wear. So if you throw a trash bag in, then you can put any soiled clothes in that. So now that you know how to pack, I want to talk a little bit about what packing can do for your trip. If you learn to pack efficiently, according to smartertravel.com, you can help avoid costs at airlines such as having multiple bags, too heavy of a bag, too wide of a bag, etc. Another thing you want to think about is how long your trip is going to be. You don't need to have 20 shirts for a day long trip. What kind of weather is it gonna be at the location you're going to? You don't wanna take t-shirts and shorts to a trip where it's gonna be 20 below zero. You also wanna think about things you may not think you need for the trip. Like, what kind of shoes do I need? Do I need to have a watch? Do I need to worry about a time change? One last thing you need to think about is how to prepare if something were to be damaged in, in transport. You don't want to take anything that you can't replace. So you don't want to take family memorabilia or something that would require a trip home to get. There's some stuff you may not want to include because it doesn't, 
cause effective packing. You can, you can forget your toothbrush and still get one from the hotel and that can save on space. Your toothpaste can save on space or a charger. Now that you know how to pack effectively, I hope you can be prepared for your next trip out of the country. Thank you.